Hey everyone, Hydrahead here. Sorry it's been so long since I've had a video up. I'd uh, give you a reason why, but um, excuses are just uh, <laughs> it's just that, excuses. So <clears throat> I'll try and be better, be butter. But um, for now, let's just talk about aliens dust to dust. So <clears throat> anytime I talk about aliens, I have to mention uh, Wilkes, number one aliens fan, or alien fan zero on Twitter, I think. He's in my uh, recommended viewers in the sidebar when you go to my account. Um, he hasn't done any videos in a while. Uh, maybe he's finally done a review on this one. I'm hoping so, because he's very, very knowledgeable on the franchise. Uh, another good guy to go to if you're looking for alien stuff is Umbrella. That Umbrella guy. He's just, in general, um, knows a lot about horror. And if you haven't been watching him, you should. Um, because he's got really, really constant content. I'm, uh, jealous of his ability to output <laughs> so this is aliens dust to dust this just came out last wednesday this is a one of four the last um the last two uh bits that aliens have released have been pretty good i didn't read um was it fire and something i read the one that uh stokoy did and that was fantastic stokoy is a, a great <laughs> he's great uh, definitely check that out. This one is really good. This is very, very classic feeling. Uh, this is by Gabriel Hardman, Rain Beredo, and Michael Heisler. <clears throat> and it very much feels like a classic alien story. Uh, even what's happening is very classic. It's just, um, there's something terrible going on. They don't know what it is. This kid's scared he, and confused. He <clears throat> finds his mom, and his mom's got a face hugger on her. He tries to rip it off. <clears throat> And then, uh, <laughs> it just falls to the ground dead. And then his mom wakes up, coughing, choking. He tries to tell her that it was on her face, but she keeps interrupting him, not letting him tell her what happened or what he saw. She's just desperately trying to get out of this situation and help them. Um, which is very, pretty dang realistic for how, um, uh, mother and kid would act, I think, in this situation. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as they're trying to escape, there's all kinds of commotion going on outside. Uh, the mother's trying to calm the kid. The kid's still trying to tell her what happened. <clears throat> they end up uh, realizing that they're going to have to leave the apartment. they got to get out of here and try and get away from this uh, the hot zone where they're basically stuck. And that's when we meet our first xenomorph. And it comes in, and in a classic aliens fashion, gets right up in her face, smells its young, and then takes off and leaves her. Whip! Whip! <laughs> <clears throat> So, as the story continues, they're still wandering through the street. We see lots and lots of evidence of aliens. We see facehuggers dead all over the place. We see xenomorphs eating people. The kids freaking out. The mother has no explanation for what's going on. They're just trying to get to safety, find some sort of relief from this, this terror. And this is what you want <laughs> from an aliens book. No cutesiness, no bullshit, no uh, hidden political message. This is just a terror story about trying to survive from basically the <laughs> the ultimate prey, which is in fact an ultimate predator. <clears throat> lots and lots of devastation. They come in contact with a few more aliens, but um, somehow <laughs> always seem to make it out just fine. And uh, okay, so here's where the big spoiler is, and I'm keeping this short on purpose because... With these books, there's not a lot of story. You really got to read it to get it. Um, and I'm just going to say... Also... Are they redoing this? Or are they just advertising the fact that you can buy season one now? Oh, I see. It's on Funimation. So that's why they care all of a sudden. Or Crunchyroll. If you want to know more about Berserk, check out Grand Comics. That little nerd's doing a whole rundown on uh, the Berserk manga. It's because he is super gay for this guy. Dennis Jelen loves you. <laughs> Dennis Jelen is Grand Comics. Um, <clears throat> and all right, I'm not gonna spoil the last couple pages because it, but it is the perfect aliens cliffhanger. Um, now I will say, <clears throat> definitely buy the first one just to see if you're gonna like it. I think you will. I really do. Um, 
but it's only a four issue run. And while they're doing a good job with the cliffhangers, the next three might not be so good. So um, if you're patient, wait for the trade, then you can have that sexy trade on your bookshelf. Otherwise, go out and pick this up. It's real good. Gabriel Hardman did a good job. Um, let's see. Script and art was Gabriel Hardman. Dang. <clears throat> it seems like every time they have an artist do the script for Aliens, it just comes out spot on. So keep doing that, guys. That's one of the few things Dark Horse manages to do well. Um, coloring by Rain Burrito. He did a good job. Very, very um, dark feel to it. I'm sure there's a type of word that uh, DNC would give us for what this um, style of coloring is. But I am not an educated artist. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely check this out. Hell out baby. <laughs>